G'day, I'm Sam from AMCN, and today we're going to learn how to do wheelies. I love this method because it is the safest way possible, I believe, to learn how to do a wheelie. It doesn't mean it can't go wrong. So this isn't for the public road. We're using Sydney Motorsport Park. Let's go. The most important thing to remember about wheelies is that it's all about timing. Timing is absolutely everything. Once you get the timing right, you really can wheelie almost anything. Like most aspects of riding, your posture is really important for doing wheelies. It's really important. So we're going to work on that first. Try not to sit on the bike like this. It's not going to help you. You need these arms relaxed so you can control the bike and, the, and all the controls. Grip with your knees. Your knees are the important thing. If you're hanging on really tight with your knees, your arms are nice and relaxed and they can do the job of controlling the motorcycle, which is the whole point. To get started, we're going to be in first gear. If you're on a super motard, second or third gear is probably best. But first gear on, on your average road bike. The first step is just to bring the bike up using throttle and rear brake only. So nice and relaxed on the bike. Roll it right along with, in the mid-range power. Close the throttle and push on the rear brake at the same time. Then open the throttle and let go of the rear brake. The idea is you are bouncing the front wheel into the air. Not that high. We're just looking for about this high at this point. Just getting a feel for bringing that front wheel up. We're centering all this around the rear brake and that's because it can get you out of trouble. Then your foot stays there. So if something goes wrong, all you need to think is rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, push on it and that's going to bring the front wheel back down again. As you start to get the feel, you'll be able to bring the bike up and you'll actually be able to hold it there a little bit. This is, don't try and do this straight away, this is something we work up to. So as the bike comes up, just keep a steady throttle to bring it back down, push on the rear brake, keep the throttle on and your front wheel won't end up looking like a 50 cent piece. Once you've done this, once you consistently bring that front wheel up under control and bring it back down again, which is just as important, uh, it's time just to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Get a feel for that front wheel coming up. Once you feel really comfortable and you're ready for the next step, we're going to introduce the clutch. Once we've just got the basic first gear power wheelie worked out, it's time to add in the clutch. You need to use the clutch because on larger bikes, you simply won't be able to get the bike up to balance point just using the method we've discussed. So this time, instead of closing the throttle, we're going to do a similar thing, but we're using the clutch to reduce the power. So pull the clutch in, bring the revs up and push down on the rear brake. That all happens very quickly. I then release the clutch smoothly and let go of the rear brake. By pulling the clutch in and pushing on the rear brake, you're squatting the bike forward. By releasing the clutch and releasing the rear brake, you're letting all that energy come back up again. And that's when the bike comes up nice and smooth and hopefully stays there. You'll know you've got it right because the bike will make that distinctive. I've just done a wheelie sound. You're used to the front coming up from the first gear and phase one exercise that we did. Now that we're in second, as the front comes up, it should be more controllable, more consistent, uh, and you're getting used to using that clutch. And that's the only difference. Again, if things all go horribly wrong, you should be gripping the bike with your knees, push on the rear brake, your foot's already there, and the bike will come back down. That's not the end of your problems necessarily, but the important thing is that you don't flip it. Again, at this point, it's not time to go off and do great big top gear wheelies down the straight of Sydney Motorsport Park. It's time to practice. Get used to consistently bringing that bike up so that you're not getting a great big surprise every time you do it. It's also time to work on bringing the bike up to balance point. To get to balance point, again, bring up the bike. You've practiced that much that it's nice and consistent. The bike is coming up as you expect it. Use the throttle to bring the bike up to where you feel everything starts to go light. And as you're bringing the bike higher, you'll be rolling off the throttle. Balance point will be when you're actually closing the throttle because the bike has got to the point where it's balancing on that back wheel, hence the name balance point. And then as the wheel come, front wheel heads back down to the ground again, you'll just be opening the throttle again, really smoothly, really lightly. And that will help keep you on balance point. The rear brake, your foot's still over it. Some people like to drag the rear brake, but really it's there in case you start to go too far. You can push on the rear brake. If you push that rear brake too hard, you will slam the front wheel on the ground. And this is again why we needed to have been practicing doing wheelies with that rear brake. So, when the bike comes up to balance point, just practice pushing on the rear brake. As the front wheel comes down to ground again, roll on the throttle so you land with throttle on. If you land with throttle off, you'll crack a front hub pretty quickly. Up until the point you're able to reach balance point, you will be accelerating as you wheelie. You need to be aware of this. 
because one, if you hit the rev limiter with the bike on the back wheel, it could crunch down on the ground pretty hard. Uh, and two, you may need to learn how to change gears. That's another time. At the moment, we're just working on second gear wheelie, bringing the bike up to balance point, holding it there with throttle, the rear brake back up there if you need it, and wheeling off into the sunset, looking like a champion. And uh, then you can develop all your other wheelie skills from this.